What's up guys? I have camera cells, uh, historical camera cells data. We'll look at back from 2001 all the way up to present and kind of see where the market's going along with some of the iPhone cells. See where, where this overlaps. So 2001 is actually the, the date roughly around there when I got into digital photography. I had a Canon SLR film, didn't really use it that much. And then digital came in and I was at Nebraska Furniture Mart, walked through the walked through their store and they had a huge like Olympus and Panasonic and everybody was in on it. And I went, I walked away with a Nikon for like 800 bucks. Now a film camera was probably like two or $300, but the, the, I guess the, the easiness of, of digital looking at your, 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 photograph right then and there was just amazing and being able to see it and post it on your computer screen obviously the rest is over so 4.5 to like 6 megapixels canon dsl or nikon dslr and if we look at the cells look at the cells back in 2001 and we'll just see it just go up and up man people really dug the camera cells compact cameras and and the dslrs and and as you notice my last video talked about you know, 2017, 18 is really the last year they really worked through uh, the sensors for these small cameras and actually put out something somewhat new. And then it's been stagnant for six years. And we hold other video on, on how that could be the death of, of the compacts. But if we look at 2001, we got 4.2 million cameras sold complete. They were talking Fuji, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic, Olympus, grand total 4.2. And we have 5.5 the next year, 7.1, 8.1, 14.5 million by 2005. Now that's a huge, huge increase. And that really was, was the start of getting it on with the R&D with these cameras. Like they were looking at market share, looking, just selling tons of these cameras and you know, 20, 30% increases every year, year on year. They were coming out with all kinds of affordable models, trying to get everybody in from compacts to the SL, DSLRs and that. And we keep going up. You know, we went from like four megapixels all the way up to, you know, the 12 and the 16 and the 20s, all the way. If we look at 2013, that was the peak at roughly 28 million 28 million camera cells. Uh, that's pretty substantial. Now, this is just rough estimate. But yeah, that's, that is substantial. But shortly after that, the following year, that's when really take a huge hit down to 21, mega, 21 million and then 16, 15, and the rest is history. We just keep going down. I think we keep going down. And 2023, we're at 9.3 million. We lost 200,000 camera cells from the previous year in 2022 that's that's substantial so this president of sigma is saying he thinks that the camera sales have stabilized somewhat the the, the huge drops and i you know the data kind of supports that but the other thing you kind of got to be have a sneaking suspicion on this guys the last few years the z mount the rf mount with canon all these new mounts these lenses people are switching over their camera systems the ones that want to get to the latest and greatest and so that is a little bit concerning because all the other sales that you see previous, the 28 million, this is in a time when, you know, ca these cameras are somewhat affordable. They're getting smaller, cheaper, full frames. They're, they're come, and they're still managing 9.3 million across the board from, from everything I've been told. So it's still slumping, 200,000 less than the previous year. I guess the big question, that this is this is going to go is how much further is it going to fall you know and can they support all their cameras at the existing where they're at now so if we look we look at the iphone sales from 2007 to now now we look at the iphone sales you uh, it's amazing 6.1 million 11.6 the following year 2.20.7 million all the way up and in 2000 2015 max, that's when the megapixels went from eight megapixels to 12 megapixels with, with the current camera systems, 231 million phones sold. Now I know what you guys are thinking, well, that's, that's everybody didn't buy that, but guys, that is cameras and sensors on the street. 
And yeah, shortly after that, we look at the sales for, for uh, the compacts or the R&D and the latest cameras put out. 2017, 18 was kind of the end of that. So 231 million phones put out there. And that's what I'm, I'm filming this on in cinematic mode. You notice that things are blurry back here. It's kind of cool. 211 million, it kind of falls down and kind of oscillates. 238 million in 2021. All these sales, all these camera sales are relating to the tech inside them when they get 4K 60 or they get ProRes or they get some kind of cinematic mode. That stuff moves cameras and you could see like that the, the going from the cameras on these iPhones going from four megapixels or two to to six to 12, there's a bump up. People are willing to bump up to pay for that. So that kind of goes to show, you know, we look at the chart of sales overall, the camera sales you'll see in 2015 or 2013, it just drops like a rock. And then we'll look at the, the overall sales for the iPhone and, and that's just, it's so dang high, man. It is unbelievable. But that kind of kind of comes down to um, what, you know, what's going to happen with these camera manufacturers. If they're down a couple hundred thousand from last year and Sigma's thinking it's stabilized, can they survive? Will we see kind of a Steve Jobs move with these camera companies? Now, Steve Jobs took over Apple back around 2006 or seven, I think, and they had a ton of Mac, uh, MacBooks, like different variations of the Mac, P their, their, their PCs, I guess. And he said, no, we're gonna streamline this. We're bleeding money right now. We're gonna get good, better, and best. That's, that's, he simplified it, made it efficient. And my question is, will Canon do that? Canon's got a lot of RF cameras that are affordable, but if the sales keep going down, I think you're gonna find kind of like what Pentex was doing. Pentex is a full frame camera, DSLR, and a, a, a APS-C, and then a pocket range. That's about it. That's what's what's left. They just put out a film version. I kind of that, think that shows their desperation to try to get people into photography. Is going back to film when 2001, everybody was dumping their film stuff, going digital, right? But yeah, and, and Nikon has the same thing. Sony has their versions. We could see a consolidation in the options for people to actually do photography is a good, better, best. You know, pro version, a mid-range version, and a beginner version. Uh, choose your pick, but. Can you imagine if we went down to like, you know, five or six million in the next two or three years? Because if you look at the RF mount, RF mount, new RF lenses, discontinuing some of the older stuff, you're going to sell more cameras just putting that out in itself, that new tech. But after everybody has the new tech, can you keep people and doing the upgrades to get people to keep buying new cameras? That's a tough sell. That's a tough sell. As we look at the data, once you get set in at 24 megapixels, 12 megapixels, and you're not showing great improvements, you're not moving the needle. And, and even the iPhone has, has struggles with that kind of stuff. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts. Just uh, did you, what did you think of this video? Was it helpful at all? Kind of seeing where things are going. My previous video, I mentioned point and shoots, the compacts are pretty much dead from everything I see. They haven't done any R&D, you know, all the R&D, as far as is done on this was back in the early days. I mean, they're still doing some, but the big jumps where people were constantly buying, upgrading equipment seems to be faded. And, and there's probably not nearly as many photographers as Canon Nikon thought they had, meaning, you know, guys will, will video with their phone. They'll take pictures with their phone. They're not hardcore photographers. They're the casuals that, nah, I can, I can live without a DSLR or mirrorless camera. I'll just do it on my phone. Thanks a lot, guys. Hit that, con uh, hit that subscribe button. Make some comments if you want, and I'll see you later.